Sometimes during engagements, we need to proxy and manipulate the traffic across a network. This is where we can use Proxify, a powerful tool from Project Discovery. In this video tutorial, we'll show the ins and outs of Proxify, covering its various features and demonstrating how we can leverage it for capturing, replaying and manipulating web traffic. Proxify is an advanced web traffic interception and manipulation tool designed to assist cybersecurity professionals in understanding and manipulating HTTP and HTTPS traffic. It operates as a proxy server, allowing users to intercept and modify web requests and responses in real time. To get started with Proxify, we first need to install it. To do this, we head over to the GitHub repository of Proxify. It's there that we can find the exact command to install Proxify to our system. Since Proxify runs on Go, we can use a Go install method to install it. If you've not installed Golang yet, you can install it with apt install golang. Once installed, we can run Proxify. If we run it without any flags, it will start listening for connections on port 8888. If this port is in use, we can set the IP address and port that Proxify is listening on. We can do this with the HTTP adder flag. This flag expects an IP address and a port separated by a colon. If we do not include an IP address, Proxify will listen on all connections. Let's run Proxify by making it listen on HTTP port 8080. Now that we have Proxify listening on port 8080, we can now proxy traffic through Proxify by setting our tools to our proxy. Let's show this by using curl. If we send a request to example.com, we can see that the request is sent through Proxify. We can also see that all the data that is sent through the proxy is readable by the administrator of the proxy. This is by the way the reason we should never use public proxies. One of the things we can do with Proxify is to store all traffic that is passed through the proxy. This can be useful since it allows us to review the traffic afterwards or even replay the traffic to other applications such as Burp Suite. To store the output, we can use the output flag. By default, Proxify logs to the slash logs directory. This can be configured in the configuration file of Proxify or by setting a custom location by setting the flag. Once we've captured the information, we can replay it to other tools such as Burp Suite. This can be done by using the replay application. When we set the output to use the log file we captured earlier and set the proxy to use in Burp Suite, we can push all data to Burp Suite and use it to perform further analysis. Proxify also allows us to modify requests. This can be done in several ways, either in real time or in capture that we've made on the traffic. Before we get started, we are demonstrating these functions of Proxify on our own systems and must insist that this is not performed in real world scenarios without permission. If you're a system administrator, Proxify is easily detectable and we recommend to block its use within the network. With Proxify, we can modify the data that is sent. We can do this in two ways, by either adjusting the request or by adjusting the response. Since the only difference between the two is the flag that is used, we will only show the response, since this is the most visual of the options. To change the response, we need to use the response match replace DSL flag followed by a special string that instructs Proxify on how to parse the request. The first part we add is the text to replace regex. Then it's followed by the type we want to change, in this case the response. We can now add the regex. In our example we're going to replace all instances of the word example with the word hackery. When we run the proxy and browse to example.com, we can see that all of the instances of example have been replaced by hackery. You should now know all that you would need to know to effectively use Proxify in your engagements. We hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please tell us what you've learned by leaving a comment, pressing the like button or subscribing. It would really help us in the algorithm. Thank you for watching.